Is it realistic what you're talking about? Uh, well, I've, I've, I've said it several times, and it's not, I'm just quoting other people, great people, uh, quantum f physicists, who say that reality is very, uh, very fluid, and it can be really anything, and, uh, and one can create one's reality. Uh, generally, it's in the traditions too, it's embedded where, in the traditions they say that one that one's reality is in in one's speech. I think that uh, you know, you know, uh, several religious traditions uh, acknowledge that speech is at the basis of of the creative experience. I mean, God said, and the world was, and the the uh, a whole philosophy. I, you could probably say that Hebrew is genuinely a, a philosophy of language, or a methodology of language and of grammar and of syntax. And of uh, metaphor and of all the logics which relate to language of law, it is it really is a an acknowledgement that language has brought uh, has m allowed uh, our imagination or some people call it consciousness uh, to to manifest itself. Uh, and there's a lot of debate what where our imagination comes from. I happen to have a position on this. And I'm not a physicist or anything, but I, you know I'm, a, I'm an avid, you know, understander of what is happening in the physical world. You have to be. Uh, you have to understand. You can't. It's, it's, inc it's inconsistent to any knowledge if you don't understand how the physical world is working. And now it's clear, and you'd have to be really uh, unfortunate not to consult with Google and the Hubble spacecraft to understand uh, understand so much which could not be understood not even two years ago about the universe. So, uh, so uh, people haven't uh, braved a definition of consciousness or they're, tr they're trying to understand it. But I heard a remarkable uh, theory by Sir Roger Penrose and uh, I mean it blew my mind if I understood it properly. Uh, what he was saying was, is that as a as the big uh, as a as a as a, a black uh, hole uh, becomes a black hole, it it, it is believed to t t draw in light and everything because it's so dense. But it has been proved by the Hawking points by his his uh, his his colleague uh, Stephen Hawking's that the black hole actually exudes or it uh, radiates a certain type of en energy uh, uh, which is called uh, gamma gamma en energy and this is, has now been picked up and uh, they've, 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 they've understood that the uh, scientists who won the Nobel Prize for it uh, were, were listening to static and they, find, they thought it was just static and they wanted to get rid of it and they finally understood that it wasn't static it was the gamma rays of the there's a great energy from the Big Bang which is reverberating through the universe. And the universe may not be a universe as we think it may be in two dimensions or even three or four dimensions. It could be going out in millions of dimensions out, or but million has also a form, um, it appears. So, so, uh, so this reverberation of energy from the Big Bang, Sir Roger Penrose is describing, that as, as planets, or he says in the case of planet Earth, that because of the ellipse of the moon around the Earth, it was able that gamma ray got caught in the Earth's in the Earth's ellipse, like a eyelid goes, it opens and closes, and it is able to create like a like a muscle effect, an up and down effect. That energy that gamma ray got caught up in the Earth's, uh, in the uh, through the ellipse, and then, and I think I don't know if that TV who really said it or I'm imagining it, but then that the, our brains pick up on that, like they're an antenna, our minds, and that our imaginations and our consciousness may really be some incredible force coming from billions of miles away which is is energizing 
and it is moving in a certain way and whatever we put our minds to with it, with that antennae that we can achieve and that's what our imagination has done we're just doing and achieving everything in the most unusual ways not in the ways we first thought we don't look at it and then achieve it in that way but you look at it and then other people and with the uh, the relationship between other peoples you do it and then you see on one hand that's what the imagination has done and the brain has done the human brain but, uh, but the AI from the other end from mechanics is coming to aid as another substrata of the biology and both of them are using electricity and light and energy so I'm asking that question maybe someone uh, smart has an answer